This rock high above the Souza Valley is Alberto Perino's favorite spot. From here, the 63-year-old can look out over the mountains in the Piemont region of Italy. This valley is my life, and my children's lives, and that of my forebears. It means everything to us. I wouldn't give it up for anything. But Perino fears for his beloved valley. If the Italian government has its way, a stretch of the high-speed railway connecting Lyon to Turin will be built along the current line. This new and utterly useless line will ruin the valley. You won't be able to live here anymore. It'll become a traffic thoroughfare. The Susa Valley lives on agriculture and tourism. The hillsides are dotted with idyllic mountain villages, and the ancient Romans left their mark. This highway leading to the Sestriera ski area has already carved up the valley. Perino is certain that a new train route would only serve Italian politicians using it to line their pockets. In Italy, l'alta velocità in Italy, a kilometer of high-speed rail costs four and a half to nine and a half times more than it does in France, Spain or Japan. A parliamentary study has shown that 90 percent of the money goes to the mafia and to political parties. Only 10 percent goes to building costs. That's why there have been 20 years of protests against the Treno at Alta Velocita, or TAV. This contract, which is nearly four meters long, represents the group's latest coup. They got together and bought up several plots of land along the planned route, including this orchard in Venaus. It's now owned by more than 1,300 people. The residents may be subject to forced expropriation, but Perino has his stalling tactics. If they want to take our property, they have to publish their intentions in several newspapers. But they can't make a single error with our data, not in our names, our birth dates, our tax numbers or addresses. If they do, they have to start all over again. Every chance he gets, Alberto Perino tries to win friends in his battle against the rail line. But these farmers are hoping for more tourists and more customers once the line is in place. The new stretch is intended to connect Turin and Lyon in less than two hours. And with that, Souza would become an international rail center. Some mayors in the valley like that prospect. I would hope the train brings economic progress. We need a comprehensive strategy in order to improve the economy and at the same time the living conditions in the valley. Whatever improves the economy will also elevate the living standards. But most people doubt that will happen. Even an economics professor at Turin University doesn't see any sense in it. The existing connection for goods and passengers is only running at about 30% of capacity now. It's ridiculous to pretend that people will load up their freight in Lisbon for transport to Kiev and that the whole enterprise will fall apart just because the train runs slower through here. The project makes no sense. In the evening, Alberto Perino meets with his fellow campaigners to plan their next move. Italy's Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi has just reiterated plans for building to begin. But that's not stopping them. We're not out here fighting for the fun of it. We want to win, no matter what it takes, and we'll give it all we've got. We've been resisting for 20 years, and we're prepared to do it for 20 years more. Except defeat, that's out of the question.